they're found two dimensional. <laughs> and they were the and you guys were the first ones to take a two dimensional surfactinus and make it into that three dimensional skeleton. Yeah, uh, we're the only people who are crazy enough to do that. Because fish have a lot of really delicate bones and it's kind of a pain in the butt to make them. So, so each of these fish tell a story. Is this Protospirina? That's Protospirina. So it looks like a swordfish, but it's actually so distantly related that they're both fish and that's about where it ends. This is kind of an ecomorph. This is what we call convergent evolution, where you evolve similar structures and similar kinds of environments and habitats. Um, it did not have bony vertebrae. That, that's just a rod we stuck there because we needed something to hang everything else off of, but they were cartilaginous. We find their fins a couple times in summer, these pectoral fins. I've seen three skulls in my whole career and only two other instances have I seen any postcranial material at all. So they're super... Kansas. Almost everything in this room is from Kansas. Almost. Yeah. And swordfish don't have teeth, random yeah. side note. Oh yeah, that's, that's the other one. So, swordfish have these goofy, tiny little like denticles. Denticles, right. We've, believe it or not, Mike's actually got a swordfish skull up in his office in a drawer somewhere. Oh sweet. So, I want to catch one someday, just so I can see it in person. They're delicious. <laughs> I, I've I had, they are extremely delicious. So you've got Zephactinus, which is called the bulldog fish, and this thing, as you see, it's teeth. We sell in our uh, marine marauders, ultimate marine marauders crate, the only place you can get a Zephactinus tooth. It's one of these teeth here. Just an incredible creature. And we have found Zephactinus with fish in their bellies. So Zephactinus have been found with a full six foot long fish in its belly complete. And in, in that case, it's thought that that fish, it's, it was a 12 foot long Zephactinus that swallowed a six foot long fish. And then it's probably its dorsal fins ruptured the stomach and then killed the animal. Kind of like when you overfeed your goldfish, <laughs> but on an extreme level. And we've also found in their bellies uh, shark teeth. So we know it ate sharks. So this animal was up to 20 feet long. It lived in the most dangerous seas that have ever existed as far as big animals that are hostile go. Because not only do you have a 20 foot long Zephactinus, 19, 20 feet, absolutely gargantuan. It's a bony fish. So think of a tarpon. Our largest bony fish today that are predatory are along the lines of there's some, there's some big salmon in uh, Russia and there's some tarpon. And you have things like a sturgeon, but they're bottom feeding. They're not, they're not active predators. Your big active predators are 200 pounds. This thing is you know, 1,000 plus pounds, just gigantic. It would have been an incredible active hunter. I just read a paper that came out two months ago that suggests that it had endothermy of some sort, which means it could keep its, it could help self-regulate its temperature to a certain degree, which would help if you are an active explosive predator on the prowl. So they found mosasaur elements in there. One was found with a mosasaur in its, a flipper in its mouth. Still, I gotta go see that specimen in person because I gotta find where it's at. I was reading through the literature. And Who's got it? I, I gotta find it. it Call Everhart, he'll know. Okay. So outside of this animal tearing it up, if this lived in where you are at, that's a bad enough day. But it also lived with two other creatures. So where do we got? What do you want? This animal here, this long Tylosaurus, the long serpent looking creature. It goes up to 50 feet long. So it hung out with Tylosaurus. Tylosaurus has closest living relatives today is the Komodo dragons, the, vir the branded lizards. Jaws could get big and wide, big, long power, huge, you know, the, the like paddles. Kind of thing. Yeah, it would paddle through the water, sinuous. It could eat what it wanted. But there's a third creature that it hung out with that was just as big, just about, well, from a weight size. And do you have Kurtoxy Rhino on display? On the wall. That's the, that's the closest we get. It was blocked by this telephone booth. So do these animals here, these fish, live at the same time as any of these dinosaurs in here? Yes. Yes. So there's a dinosaur called Pawpawsaurus <laughs> that washed out to sea and was chewed on by sharks. We uh, call them bloat and floats. Bloat? Bloat and float. So if you live, because a lot of the dinosaurs lived along the edges of the coastline, dyes get washed out to sea, gases, especially if you're a big herbivore, you've got fermentation still going on, you bloat out and you float. 
and then yeah. all these animals say, oh yeah, well, I guess dinosaurs on the menu. But they wouldn't have proactively hunted dinosaurs because dinosaurs, they didn't live in the water. Yeah, you're looking like, you're like 200 miles from shore right here. The Marine Marauders Crate The Marine Marauders Crate has a tooth of Cretoxyrhina. This it's got cool. a Tylosaurus. And it's got a tooth of Tylosaurus right up there. And it's got a tooth of Cephactinus. And even though it didn't live at the same time, it has tooth of Megalodon. I'm not going to use the genus because Carcharodon, Carcharocles, or Ototus. You pick. We're going to go with Megalodon. Now this animal was clearly the apex of the apex. Nothing bothered Megalodon. Megalodon did what it wanted, except it lived at the time of a giant, it's a cool term, macroraptorial sperm whale called Liviatan. So as a result, this particular animal ate whales. So this animal ate whales, it had five rows of teeth at, at, at maximum. It had 250 teeth in its mouth at any given time. So is this the largest known... Um, shark? Yeah. Yes. Water. It's, the, it's, the, it's the largest known shark. This giant sperm whale that ate whales. Because you think of sperm whales today, they got that narrow jaw with teeth on the bottom, they eat squid. There was a version that had, a, that had teeth that were as large, or, or the, actually were larger than the Tyrannosaurus rex teeth that lined the mouth and took out chunks of whale flesh. So they both competed, and the, and the whale would have been heavier than the megalodon. So even when you're the biggest, what is it? There's always something bigger? Now I don't think there's anything bigger than Liviatan. It's like Sharknado. Yeah, <laughs> yes.